In many a country cottage, you're going to find a jar like this with a delicious purple liquid in it, slow gin. It's going to take almost no time to show you how to make it because it's super simple. Okay, pick yourself 500 grams of slow for each bottle of gin. I'll put a recipe in the description, so don't worry about making notes. You want your slows to look like this. They need to look slightly dusty and be slightly giving to the touch. Unripe slows are hard as bullets and the recipe won't work well. When you get them back to the kitchen, give them a rinse off and weigh out your 500 grams. It's fine to do a double batch. A kilo for two bottles of gin works just as well as 500 grams for one bottle of gin. Then what I do is freeze them hard. People used to say wait for the first frost, but they're all gone with the first frost for me. Then what I do is I take the hard frozen slows and I put them in a wide mouth jar. I freeze them because it bursts the skin zone, opens the cells up and helps the liquid penetrate. Then I add 250 grams of Demerara sugar and one full bottle of decent dry London gin. That's the recipe. That's all it needs. Give it a good shake to dissolve the sugar and you'll have to shake it several times a day for two or three days to get that sugar to dissolve. But that's all you need to do. Some people talk about pricking the slows. If they're frozen well and burst, you don't need to. Finally, what I do is I put a label onto it because I do several different types of these kind of recipes and I need to keep track. And then I'll put them in a dark cupboard, shake them once a day for two weeks, once a week, for around about three months. After three months, I use a kitchen sieve and I'll strain the gin off the slows. Then I pop a coffee filter into a funnel and I strain it again and that gets rid of any last little bits of slow or stem or anything that's got through the sieve. It takes a little while to run through the coffee filter, but it's taken three months so far, so another sort of half an hour really doesn't matter, and it really is worth it to get that beautifully clear gin. Pop a stopper in, always worth labelling it, and it's very important to make sure you leave yourself a little bit left over to test. Cheers.